I had plans yesterday and then they got canceled, so I ended up playing Kingdom Hearts 2 for over 12 hours. That's not healthy. Please don't do that. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Stub the Best Cow Dog in the West. Stub the Best Cow Dog in the West is a 1974 Wonderful World of Disney television release. It is directed by Larry Landsberg, cinematography by Edward P. Hughes, editing by Norman R. Palmer, and it's written by Janet Landsberg and William C. Anderson. The film is narrated by Rex Allen. It stars Jay Sisler, Lou Anne Beach, and Mike Hebert. Rex Allen was very well known for doing voiceovers specifically for Disney. He was deemed the voice of the West and he has a star on the Walk of Fame. Jay Sisler played himself. He's a very famous Australian dog trainer and his Australian shepherds were very famous for all the tricks he could have them do and they do them all in the film, obviously. There was absolutely nothing about Lou Anne Beach and Mike Heber on the internet. I think this might've been the only film they were in and I think Lou Anne Beach might've been playing herself because that was also her name in the film and she was really well known for riding horses really well. So she did a bunch of tricks with horses and there was nothing on Mike Heber. I didn't have a lot of notes about this movie. It is almost completely all voiceover. There's really no dialogue between characters. There's a little bit, but not a lot. There's a lot more in the second half during the second plot, if I can call it that. There's really no plot in the film. It's really just a film to accentuate the tricks the dogs do, which are insane. Watching the dogs do the tricks they did was crazy. I don't know how Jay taught those dogs, but color me impressed, okay? Even the horses did some really amazing tricks. So that was the best part of the movie. Otherwise, you know, cinematography was normal. All of it was relatively blah. There was really no plot except for like the many moments where like some kids in a river drowning and some dudes getting chased by a bear. Both of those moments not lasting very long for the majority of the movie. So, um, oh, also the movie is only like 50 minutes, just like The Boy Who Flew With Condors. I would rather watch this 500,000 times than watch The Boy Who Flew With Condors again, but that's not to say it's good. I don't have anything else to say about Stub the Best Cow Dog in the West because there really is nothing else to say. I liked watching it for the tricks the dogs did, but otherwise very uneventful, very bland, very boring film. I'm gonna give it one Australian Shepherd out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parents, that's home, crack on the same. If you wanna keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe. But I'm not trying to like you are, so you do you. And don't be the guy that got chased by a bear about it just cause he's annoying. That's really mean. He's probably a very good person. Never mind. Do you know what I'm gonna do after I turn this camera off? I'm gonna edit this video. You know what I'm gonna do after that? <laughs> Play Kingdom Hearts 2.